so this is what is of the line now. It goes off down there towards Rufford Colliery and this is the former Great Central Line to Bridiff Colliery. You can still see the ballast. Can't get through that way. We'll keep going. As you can see, starting to waste it on the level, but everywhere else is starting <coughs> to fall either side. Walked a little further along, you can see we're really starting to fall either side. Excuse the shaky cam because I'm just walking on ballast. Just throw it in my hand. So we've walked a little bit further, you can see the line is very overgrown. I can remember this line having track on it. The track at one point went up to where the cycle route was put in. And then from there, there was just a, a fence around it. So all this had track all the way down. <clears throat> and hopefully, you can see it's gonna start to open out a bit. We'll see what the track was there for. So I've come off the ballast onto the side of it because it makes it easier walking. <clears throat> As I mentioned before, the track was still here even after Lidworth and Renner had closed. They turned Rufford Colliery into a mixing site and concentration sidings. I can remember seeing 66s with HA wagons coming down here and in a second we'll see what they were coming for. Just before we get to it, we've got some coal dust that's left on the line. Just showing a bit of what this line was for. And here is what we've come to see. Where the dog's currently drinking. So I can remember this not being filled in. This was a all this was an open hole and still had the tracks in and they went all the way and carried on. So this was open and said the tracks went over there. Believe me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, some kind of structure here to here. May have had something to do with either a cover over it to stop it getting full of water or to open the wagons. And carry on down there. And then here was the coal, coal drop area. And I can remember there being quite a big drop, all this was open, and there being several piles of coal all around there. I believe it was to be mixed and blended, depending on where it was going. Correct me if I'm wrong. Since then it's all been filled in. You can see a old sleeper just there. Go down without falling down. You can see it has more properly been filled in since. So we were just on that bank there. I've just come down to have a look. See, that's the, the 
sleep uh, to sleep where I was stood. Quite a height, but I imagine when you're unloading the train, there'll be quite a lot of coal coming. So we've walked from sort to here. That was the line that went to Blidworth Colliery, the Great Central Line. If we continue down and went down this road, we'd get to the junction where you can go off to either Clipston, which all the trains had to go back to, to get back onto the main line, or you can go to uh, Bill's Fort Colliery, which was open until 1997. And I was told that uh, the line was in situ till early 2000s, mid 2000s, because they were going to think about building a container yard in the uh, industrial estate, which is now on the colliery. However, people kept, kept nicking the track, so that never happened. So you can see it's three collieries accessible off one branch, off one junction there. Now, this is the level of the track just here. We're just going to continue up in this direction see what else there is. According to the map, it's where the line came out into the colliery and down that way. We're going to have a go up this way and see what else we find. I've now walked a bit further and there's a video that's been up of, of someone exploring Ruffle Colliery have to excuse me after the channel it has literally gone out of my head just as I started saying this it's like canal and rail path trekking but I'll put a link to his video because it's really quite informative and he found these I did if you look on our Facebook page I did see these the other day but we've got some tracks here that one currently goes as far as the barrier a crash barrier <coughs> Excuse me. If we walk over here, we've got what must be some form of run round loop with the two tracks here. If you look up the top of the hill, you can see the narrow gauge. And there's, up there, there's several tracks of narrow gauge, which I assume something to do with coming in and out of shafts. See if we walk up here, another point just here. It's been concreted in. And then got the one that goes over the distance, and the one over here. And then there's even another one. So as you can see, there's a boundary fence still here with a barbed wire, just over there, you can see the embankment, if I get my hand right, over there look, you can see the embankment, where the line was, I can't get too close at the moment because of the brambles and everything, but the road does get closer to the line, just a bit further down here, so let's see if we can get onto the line from this side. We've walked quite a way down now, I'm hoping this path here, I'm hoping we can get onto the railway from here. And there she is. So we've walked down from that direction there, quite a way. We can't get much further really than that because it's all overgrown. Could have possibly walked down the side of the railway this side and come up. We've still got the ballast in, just took the tracks up. I believe, from what someone's told me, there was a bridge when they had to come this way in that was quite not very stable, shall we say. 
and that was half the reason why they um, they wanted to get rid of this line. Other than the fact that this was the only thing that anything came down here for, eventually, when you could get the other way via Clipton Junction. might just be able to hear the cars of the of the um, Renault Bypass in the distance I'm sure that's it, this is a memory from when I was younger my granddad used to bring us walking around here a lot and I'm sure this line had tracks on it in the 90s mid to late 90s and I'm sure I can remember there being a shunter parked on these tracks because we came out of the woods the, the railway line was just here or just on ballast in the woods and there was just a shunter just in the middle of nowhere but my granddad wouldn't let us climb on it to have a look so we'll follow the line a bit further down and see how we get on Another way in, you could have gone up there. So this is as far as I think we're going to go for the moment, because that's quite overgrown now. Got to think it's not just me, it's the dog that's with me as well, so if she can't get through, we're not going that way. There is remnants of a, a burnt out car. I think it's a focus. So the line carries on up there in the trees. We're having to go a bit further out because you can't walk down the line because it's got quite a grown. And the way I've come before, that's full of bracken. So we'll see if we can join back up the railway a little bit later on. So this is can hear the cars this is the line that come down and then gone that way you can't get on it it's just overgrown at the moment I'm just gonna have a look see if I can get down that path that's full of bracken see if you can see anything you can see the line above us and you can see here at the perimeter fence. I'm not going to try and get up there because it's allowing nettles and I've got shorts on. Let's go. Stay there. Our way through. Let's go and have a look what we can see. Come on. Deers. So, if you had approached from the opposite side, it would have been again a lot better. I've done this a bit the wrong way. But the line is still here. Well, the ballast is still here. Again, this is as far as we can get. This thing gets a bit too overgrown. But there are some sleepers. Left over, just chucked to the side. 
when I walked this line last time there was a few extra drains and grates which I, if I've got the pictures I'll put up there's like a, a few more sleepers still there and let's try and get across we've got an insulator for the rail so let's try and get across the road and see what's left across Bring with bypass. So we're now on the other side. You can see where it's slight. I don't know if you get a slightly different level. See the odd ballast stone about. Let's have a look what's on this side of the bypass. Looks like people have been making ramps for bikes or motorbikes or something. We are getting quite high up. Well, the road again, the road either side of us has dropped off quite a lot. There we go. We have ballast in the undergrowth. <coughs> again, I've never seen this line in use. My uncle has. I've only seen pictures or what people have told me or just exploring like this. Now the line is in here somewhere, went out the side of it. Sometimes it's hard to believe in the places where the railway actually was. Again, you can see we are quite high. It's a stone of some sort. Well, I'm going to have to cross a road in a minute. I assume this road had a bridge at one time, or the road happened after after this line was taken out of use. And this is the old junction. You've got Mansfield up that way, and you can take that line quite a way down. I believe as far as Mansfield, you can get through in bits and bobs, which we could do if people are interested to go the line from Southall to Wollaston via Southall to Mansfield. And this line carried on this way through to Barnsford and Saffle. You see, there's not a lot left. I can't I hardly pick any ballast coloured stones out in all this. <clears throat> we can get through all the way to Kirtlington Road where the bridge was until it got demolished and then the line goes behind the church which we can't get access to but you can walk where the line effectively went because it's now housing estate and then you have the line off the midland line off to the bridge of colliery which we'll have a look at before passing under the great central line to blidith which we walked a bit of today there are still bits of the railway left to the 614 before getting to Farnsfield to the White Post and then you can follow it all the way to Southall then. Southall Station as was and I believe the race course line goes to Rolleston 
where there is still the triangular station. So just looking here, it looks like there's something left over. <clears throat> Some brick built structure, maybe that was the bridge for this road went over uh, we can't actually follow the we can't actually follow the railway directly because that went down this way we've got to go at the side and go down this way so that higher line came out this way went down this way so a lot higher pace you can see at the top of the beacon that's the level of the train of the track this has all been dug out, I remember this being an embankment, it's all been dug out and used for whatever. You can't get through because it's overgrown. So we'll leave this video here. If you want to see some more of me walking the dog and what I find, let me know. Any comments, any bits of history that I've missed or don't know, please let me know. Uh, like this video, subscribe if you want to see more. Hopefully I'll have some more modelling soon, but thank you for watching and bye for now.